Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to check out these new skins. We have a couple of skins here from Skinit. I want to say thank you very much for allowing us to check them out. We have one for the Xbox One S and one for the Pixel 2 XL. We're going to install them, share with you guys what we think, and uh, of course we have them in a specific theme and that would be... Dragon Ball Z Super and Dragon Ball Z. So we have a couple of themes going on. The phone's going to be Dragon Ball Super and with the actual Xbox is going to be the Dragon Ball Z. We're big fans of the saga as well as the fact that the Dragon Ball Fighter Z has been out since January and we've been playing it every weekend. So let's not waste any of your time. Let's check them out and see how they fare out. Here's the packages. The big one is for the Xbox One S, the small one is for the Pixel 2 XL. Uh, we have basically all we need to be able to install them on the device. We have a little chamois. Do you want to check that out? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and open it up. And then we have a small pamphlet, of course, entering the Instagram giveaway that they're going with and 25% off uh, using code ENJOY25. So definitely check that out. If you guys want to use this, definitely enjoy it. But here's the skin. This is oh, definitely glued on here. Uh, so this was a custom-made skin that I did directly on their site. Uh, the reason I say custom is because I selected this image and I went through their customization option, uploaded the image, and then sized it up to fit correctly on my Pixel 2 XL. Now what we need to do, of course, is bring our device. Using the, the device itself, just make sure you wipe every single spot. The Pixel 2 XL has uh, obviously a camera notch here, so you do not want to clean around it on the top, on the back. This does not cover the front, so you don't have to worry about that. The fingerprint sensor will also be exposed as well as the camera sensor and everything like that. The actual skin, we have a few cutouts, so we're going to take out the cutout here. I take out this cutout for the camera, and then there's a few more cutouts here for the light sensor, uh, sorry, the LED as well as the back. So those are the only cutouts that we need to worry about on the device. Other than that, we can use these to align the rest of the device. So the best installation process are going to be is we're going to take this out, allow it to free float, and then as we align it over the camera and the sensor and the fingerprint sensor, this is going to align it to the rest of the device for us. So here we have it. Uh, here is the Goku and uh, Vegeta. The, you can see here, this is from Dragon Ball Super, both in uh, Super Saiyan God level. And it fits perfectly fine. I mean, it goes directly. The fingerprint sensor is not covered. The, all of the sensors are exposed. Uh, and it actually looks pretty good. The only thing I would say is we didn't have an exposure or an opening here for the Google logo in the back. But I think because we added a skin to it, I think it looks pretty good. And uh, the image itself actually fit pretty good. What do you think? It's really nice. Well, let's go ahead and finish up with the other one. So this one is only for the uh, for the Pixel 2 XL. Again, I did a custom image. You can do your own. I'll give you guys a link in the description below, be, of course, to be able to do all of this. It's very easy, very simple, and they have a lot of themes. And the one that we have for the Xbox One S was actually a theme that they had directly. So I already I just selected the one they had, and this was already pre-done. And it comes with two pieces. Should be pretty quickly installed. So here is the second one, and you'll notice this is slightly different. This is a preset theme, and uh, of course we have the chamois, the coupon, and you'll notice right there this is Super Saiyan Level 3, Super Saiyan 2, and uh, I guess normal form, Goku, and you get them on both, on the side and on the top, as well as on the controller, which it looks even better. Now, while Omar is cleaning the controller, what I have here is the side view. So you notice the panel is pretty much the exact same size of this opening. So we're going to be putting half of the skin here and the other side is going to go on the front part of the Xbox. And then go from the corners uh, as best as you can. It doesn't actually stick right away. So as long as you leave it kind of semi-floating, anchor it correctly in the corners. And pretty much done there. And then just get the same thing, the, the wipe that they gave you, the chamois, and then just install it very easily. Um, it's this, I mean, by far, seriously guys, this is the easiest in, uh, installation. Uh, no sprays, nothing, and it looks perfect right there. So for the second side, all we need to do is switch the Xbox to the front. So right here, you'll notice there's a little opening. We'll remove this. This is going to be the piece that we took out for the power button. And the only other thing we need to do is... the eject button as well. So here the alignment is going to be pretty simple. We align the power button and once you align them just buff out any kind of bubbles that you guys may get. And again, super easy. 
super simple and the alignment is impeccable power button uh, the eject button and the power button is both are both exposed and of course we no longer have any xbox uh, monikers other than this but we're pretty much set here so omar finished cleaning the controller this is going to install super nice as well uh, we do need to take out the main pieces so here's the big ring so this one seems like it's installing in two pieces so the first one we're going to install is the bigger the two pieces so that we have a better installation you notice right there it kind of opens up and that's because of the fold on the center right here aligning everything making sure all the buttons are covered so the cool thing is it does actually go around every single thing and we still have one more piece to put in the installation on the xbox one s again is very very nice uh, i think installing it on the xbox one s worked perfectly for us the controller had a little bit of a challenge because the controller on the xbox one s had a little curvature on the bottom as well as the sides there was a little bit of a wrinkle there wasn't enough cuts here to be able to allow for the measurement but i think overall from the sense of what you get it looks very nice and the, the theme crowing across looks very very good um, I want to say thank you very much to Skinit for both giving us the uh, ability to be able to check out their mobile installation uh, package as well as the Xbox One S. They do support other devices as well as laptops and other things. Thank you very much to Skinit for allowing us to check out these skins. Uh, and of course, thanks to my big buddy right here, Omar, yeah, for helping me out and helping clean up everything and get everything ready. Uh, again, we're both big fans of Dragon Ball and having this as a theme on our Xbox One S is definitely a big thing. And for me on my phone, it's, of course, this is something that I really appreciate. Um, again, I'll give you guys a link in the description below. You can use any of the themes that they already have on there or upload your own pictures and be able to customize it the way I did it on my Pixel 2 XL. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Well, again, like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for the support. And we will see you, you again in the next video.